Welcome to a Mathematics is Fun video. Our topic is multiplying positive and negative numbers. When you multiply two positives, you get a positive. When you multiply two negatives, you get a positive. Yes, indeed, two negatives make a positive, and we will explain why later with examples. When you multiply a negative and a positive, you get a negative. When you multiply a positive and a negative, you get a negative. Signs. We are going to talk about signs. The plus sign is the positive sign. The minus sign is the negative sign. If a number has no sign, it usually means that it is positive. For example, just a 5 is really a positive 5. And you can put parentheses around the numbers to avoid confusion. Example, 3 times negative 2 can be written as 3 times negative 2 with the negative 2 in parentheses. Two signs, the rules. Two like signs make a positive sign. Two unlike signs make a negative sign. Example, negative 2 times positive 5. The signs are negative and positive, so they are unlike signs. They are different to each other, so the result must be negative. Negative 2 times positive 5 equals negative 10. Example, negative 4 times negative 3. The signs are negative and negative. They are both negative. So, they are like signs, like each other. So, the result must be positive. Negative 4 times negative 3 equals positive 12. Why does multiplying two negative numbers make a positive? Well, first there is the common sense explanation. If I say, eat, I am encouraging you to eat. Positive. But if I say, do not eat, I am saying the opposite. Negative. Now if I say, do not not eat, I am saying I don't want you to starve, so I am back to saying, eat. Positive. So, two negatives make a positive. It is all about direction. Remember the number line? Well, here we have baby Stephen taking his first steps. He takes two paces at a time and does this three times. So, he moves two steps times three equals six steps forward. Now, baby Stephen can also step Backwards. He's a clever little guy. His dad puts him back at the start, and then Stephen steps backwards two steps and does this three times. Once again, Stephen's dad puts him back at the start, but facing the other way. Stephen takes two steps forward for him, but he is heading in the negative direction. He does this three times. Back at the start again. Thanks, Dad. Still facing in the negative direction, he tries his backwards walking, once again taking two steps at a time, and he does this three times. So, by walking backwards while facing in the negative direction, he moves in the positive direction. Try it yourself. Try walking forwards and backwards, then again but facing the other direction. More examples. Money owed versus money owned. Example. You owe three people five dollars each. So you are negative fifteen. Three times negative five dollars is negative fifteen dollars. They then say, we like you so much, we forgive the debt. 
you have just had three subtractions of negative five. So it is like you have added fifteen dollars. Negative three times five dollars equals fifteen dollars. You now have no debt. Negative fifteen dollars plus fifteen dollars equals zero dollars. Tank levels rising, falling example. The tank has thirty thousand liters, and one thousand liters are taken out every day. What was the amount of water in the tank three days ago? We know the amount of water in the tank changes by negative one thousand every day, and we need to subtract that three times to go back three days. So the change will be negative three times negative one thousand equals positive three thousand. The full calculation is thirty thousand plus in parentheses negative three times negative one thousand. So three days ago, there were thirty-three thousand liters of water in the tank. What about multiplying three or more numbers together? Multiply two at a time and follow the rules. Example: What is negative two times negative three times negative four? First, multiply negative two times negative three. Two like signs make a positive sign. So, negative two times negative three equals positive six. Next, multiply positive six times negative four. Two unlike signs make a negative sign. So, six times negative four equals negative twenty-four. Result: negative two times negative three times negative four equals negative twenty-four.